What is up heroes, it's Midnight Zero, welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, we made our way to nowhere. We had quite the encounter with Lisa. It was actually really, really pulled on my heartstrings and gave me all the feels. And we explored this area. We have a few different named rooms where we went in, we found some keys, and we had some. We had a couple puzzles to solve involving, involving the Grim Reaper. And we found on the third floor this altar and these two doors with these three by three grids, well three, three by three grids. And now I think we just have the basement that we didn't fully explore before. And we have one last room uh, before, well, I think I think that third floor is gonna be the final area. Um, it hasn't been as long <laughs> as I usually say at the beginning of these episodes uh, since I recorded the last one. Over the past few episodes, it's been tough to find time um, to, to record the game. So it had been a little bit in between each episode. I was rusty, but nope, not this time around. So I remember we had gone this way before. That sound effect's starting to come up. Huh. And we had come this way. Was there anywhere more for us to go? Wait, no there wasn't? Uh oh. Wait, there's a screwdriver. Did we not pick that up before? Oh, we only got the pliers. We only picked up the pliers the first time we came here. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so we have the screwdriver. I'm trying to remember... Where do we need to go then? It's still not the third floor. Did we end up getting the birdcage key? I think that might be the one we didn't get. So let's see if we can get that one now. We can like unscrew the birdcage. Let's let's give it a go. We hear the bird in the background. Lovely. Oh, I can't use it. What? So we still have this ring of contract, the amulet of Solomon, the crest of Mercury. Hmm, I have these three things. I probably did I try using those on the altar? I feel like I did. I have a screwdriver. Where would I use a screwdriver? I think there was a metal plate on the wall at one point. I forget where. Oh, that's gonna be a, a bummer. I'm gonna have to look around here for that metal plate, aren't I? This is the room we haven't been in, right? Yeah. I think it was on the second floor. Is this the door that takes us to the second floor? I think so. Yeah, I think the metal plate was on this floor. So we're gonna briefly hunt around for that metal plate. At the very least, we don't have the crazy nurses to deal with. Impeding our progress. Yes, this is the, the one with the plate. So now let's see if we can use the screwdriver here. There we go. The question is, what's going to come off? Is there something we can read on the plate, or... Ah, there's something behind it. There's a key. What is that sound effect, that, like, crackling? Oh, it's electrified. Electricity is flowing to the key. I'll get shocked if I grab it now. Okay, so we won't grab it now. Um, electricity is running to it. But I don't remember seeing, like, a generator or anything where we could potentially turn off the electricity, right? I don't remember anything like that. Is there something else we have in our possession that would allow us to not get electrified? Probably not any of these things. Just for the sake of completeness, I wanted to try. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I would need some sort of, like, mat or rubber glove or something. Is this plate of use at all? Doesn't look like it. And I don't want to get too close. I wonder if I'd actually get hurt by it. No, it's just not even- it's not even gonna let me try. There's a key. Electricity is flowing to it. I'll get shocked if I grab it now. Okay, I, I'm under the impression I need to, you know, kill the energy. Or kill the electricity. Maybe that sound effect? is to be is supposed to be some sort of indication of like a like a generator or something maybe did i try here i did i'm pretty sure i've explored all the different rooms 
and looked. Except, I must not have come here, because there's ammo, and I certainly wouldn't pass that up. Those are just the straps, yet again. Um, what do we have in here? What's this? These are just some shells. Apparently nothing useful. What's this on the side here, though? A camera. What will we use a camera for? A camera. Camera with flash. The flash has to be the important part. You know, to like shine a really bright light on something. Is there anything else on the table? Is there anything on the ground? In the chair? It doesn't seem so. Okay. Well, I'm glad we at least checked out that room now. Let's try this one again. Nope, that's jammed. This guy is also jammed. Hmm. This is to the elevator area. Or not, I guess. Um, did I go through here? Now I'm starting to get lost. Uh-oh. That's never a good sign in horror games. We came here before. Yeah, we did. That's right, that, like, screeching sound effect. Not a fan. Not a fan. But we've gotta, we gotta make sure we've explored everything in here. I can tolerate the sound effect, so long as I'm not actively in danger. I have to worry about fighting something with all that sound going on. The lock is jammed. It looks like there might be something behind there. Can we use a key for here, maybe? I don't know. Either way, I don't see a generator, and I don't see anything that would help out in that regard. So, we can at least check this off the list. We got a couple doors down here. That guy's jammed. Is this where I came from? We'll find out, I guess. No, this is not, because this is the, the elevator. Okay, so I need something that will keep me from getting electrocuted by the electricity running through the key. We've pretty much checked the second floor at this point. Hmm. All I can think of is if maybe we go back to the altar on the third floor. It seems like that would be the final place to go. There's no fourth floor ap appearing. Uh... It would seem like that's the final place to go, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we actually have, I mean, we have quite a few items at this point, right? Maybe we have enough items to make it through here. Uh, this, these did mention light of some sort, so maybe, maybe I have to use the camera flash. What about, like, on the picture itself? Because it talked about the light to the future. It sounds like that might be related to the camera flash. Hey, there we go. Whoa. The light to the future. Okay, so it looks like... A triangle? I mean... What do we have going on here? The light to the future. There's that down arrow. Okay. So we'll try using the camera on the other painting. And see where that leads us. It looks like this might be the next step. The light illuminating the darkness. Okay. Let's use the camera again and see what we find. I am taking pictures of these. So, initially I was trying to interpret these as symbols, right? And telling us, okay, what do these symbols tell us? But I really think these are just the arrangements of the three plates showing us with contiguous lines, or continuous lines, which dots need to be lit up. So, given this one is on the right and that one's on the left, Let's, let's start off by doing this one on the right. I did take a picture with my phone, so I will be able to um, reference that, luckily, rather than have to exit and then come back, etc. So let's see here. That's the top one. The lower left one is a plus sign. Okay, and the lower right one is a triangle. Okay, and it worked, so that confirms our suspicions. Uh, 
regarding the plates. And now the question is, what are we going to find in here? What's this on the ground? This looks like something we can interact with. No? I guess not. But there is a health drink, which we will never turn away. I think this is the area... Isn't this where we found, like, the red blood or whatever? The red fluid? I think so. There's got to be something more in this room than just a health drink. There's got to be. Something on the shelf, maybe? In here? There's a botanical reference book. Don't need to read it now. Okay. What about this on the ground? What about this on the ground? Alright, well, regardless, this room on the right, there is a botanical reference book. And we don't need to read it now, but presumably, we're going to need it later. Alright, so we'll go across the hall and solve this, this dot puzzle as well. Let me pull up the picture. So this one, we have a triangle on top. Oh, it's just barely off. There we go. And then in the lower left corner, we have just a... Uh, a series of lines along that corner and then we have a sort of arrow like shape here there we go cool so now we've unlocked this door enemies in here no at least not yet surprisingly what will we find in here the camera angle changes and it looks like there's something on this chair a birdcage key that's what we were looking for Anything else? Doesn't seem so. Okay, so now I believe we're going to be able to go in the birdcage, get the birdcage key, and then we'll be able to go into that last room where we might find more items. And again, I can't use the camera here, can I? Just to be safe. No, I can't. Okay. Okay. No, neither can I use any of these, like, amulets or symbols or whatever. Okay. So now we'll go down there. And again, we've already used the screwdriver, right? We use that to open up that plate. We just need to figure out how to get rid of the electricity on that particular key. And then where does that key lead? Right? That's another question. I'm not 100% sure at the moment. We've used up all of the other key items. I mean, we have this unknown liquid. The camera, and we have these guys. It's got to do something with these guys. Not sure what yet, but I guess we'll, we'll find out, right? Once we get there. So let's head on down to the first floor. Okay. Hopefully enemies haven't respawned. And they haven't. Much appreciated. Okay, now we can finally open the birdcage. We use the birdcage key and we got the key of Phalag. Okay. So now that we have the key of Phalag, we can finally go to that last named room. However, what I would like to do first is actually save quickly. Is that in this room? I don't think it is. Oh my! I don't think we, uh, I don't think we came in here. <laughs> or did we? I think, we, actually, no, I'm sure we did at one point. Uh, Alright. I, I feel like we're gonna get rushed, and so we're not gonna have enough time to actually, like, swing at them. Come on, come on, come on. Get off, get off. Yeah, the, the cycles and everything. Okay, at the very least, it seems like when they latch on like that, they're not actively attacking me. They're just, like, prepping me to attack me, you know? That sort of thing. Because it doesn't look like I'm actually losing health. Which is comforting. Because maybe it's just, like, if you don't mash fast enough. Oh, I definitely took damage from that. Oh, but not enough to warrant my worry, at least. Okay. Okay, so that, that went surprisingly well. I don't think we actually took any damage. I don't think we did. This is the faucet. Yeah, we did come in here before. So those nurses only showed up after we, we leave the room and come back? Okay. 
I guess we're just adding to the kill count for the playthrough. <laughs> and this was the Phalag room. However, I think maybe this is the room with the safe? Yes, this is the one because it has the clock. Okay. Yeah, we've, we've solved a couple puzzles. We picked up a couple items. I just want to save to make sure that should anything happen, we're not going to... Ooh, my bad. Don't want to turn off the flashlight. We're not going to lose any of that progress and, you know, have to do it again. Because that would be less than ideal. Alright, so now we can go in this area. What are we going to find? We got friends. I wish I could see them. Oh! They're tiny little guys. They're actually attacking us. It was one of the tiny guys. Oh, and it's this area. This hallway. It's locked. The word Bethor is carved on the door. Okay, so that's going to be an area we need to go at some point. Probably need to find another key. That might be the key that's electrified at the moment. Anything of use in here? Um, looks like, what's this on the ground? Oh, no, it doesn't look like that's anything useful. Anything in these pots and pans or what? What about back here? I feel like something would be hidden back here. In the sink? No? Nothing? What is that? That looks like ammo or... No, just decoration. Anything in that sink? No? Okay, well, I guess we'll check in the fridge. Looks like something's impaled in it or... The chain is missing a link. There is a dagger of... Of Melchior? Take it? I mean, sure, we'll take the dagger. But there's a chain with a missing link. So... Presumably, we're going to need to link this chain in order to open it. That doesn't sound... Wait, when did I get to such low health? When did that happen? Interesting. So we have the dagger of Melchior. We have the crest of Mercury. We have Amulet of Solomon. We have the Ring of Contract. We got all these different things. None of these look like they would be used to put the ch chain link together. However, I am proven incorrect yet again, and by chance decided to try to use the Ring of Contract, which acted as a perfectly functioning chain link. Now that we've done that, the chain is fixed with the ring. Why is that... why is that relevant? I couldn't open it when there wasn't the fixed chain, but now I fixed it, and... and what? Is there anything to do about that? Is it going to prevent, I don't know, something from coming out of there? I have no idea. Alright. Oh. That's totally the case. Yikes. What did we trap in there? I'm curious. Oh, I'm so curious now. What did we trap in there? What happened if we tried to leave without using the ring? Oh man, I might I might have to look that up. I might have to look that up or try playing again from that last save file without it. I'm so curious. I kind of want to... I kind of want to see. I kind of want to see, guys. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to go in this room. And we're going to save... We'll save on this file, okay? And then, is there a way for me to load file? I don't think so, without like, leaving. Like going to title screen or whatnot, right? Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there is. So, Maybe, maybe the play is to reset and then load and see what happens if I try to leave without it. Because I'm really curious. So, I will try to do that in just a second. Okay, we will load from this save file. Harry's running. It's been a minute since I've seen that animation. And we'll try this again. I'm actually really glad I made that save file before. Because now it's proven to be super useful. So let's go in here and see what happens. 
I'm really curious. And like, and like, do we get an interesting item drop or something? Is it an important story point? I don't know. Okay, so we'll... Chain is missing. There's a dagger of Melchior. I think this is like protecting us from whatever's in there. So we'll take the dagger. We will... I'm not... See, I'm not at low health. But I probably will be in just a second. What happens if we walk away? Here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh my goodness. We're getting dragged in by the tentacle monster? <laughs> okay. Interesting. So that's what happens. It's a game over. Pretty cool animation, though, as well. I'm glad my, my curiosity is, is satiated. Okay, let's let's load from our nicer save. With Harry, you know, alive and all. <laughs> okay, so that's the, the kitchen, right? Now, we, we saw the bedroom with Belthor on it. And then, we still had, we hadn't really explored the entire hallway, so we've got to check that out. We'll, we'll keep walking down. I believe it was the last one all the way on the left that was supposedly Alessa's room. That one way back there. So we'll take a minute. We'll explore all these other rooms first. Surprisingly, it's not locked. What happened here? What are all of these writings? Cheryl? Was that Cheryl? What is going on in here? It's like the like all-seeing eye or you know some like demonic stuff. <laughs> like look at that. Someone definitely went went nuts in here. All right, well let's pick up this necklace, the Ankh. Oh, that's right. They are Ankhs. I um uh, I actually only really know that term from the Atelier or Atelier series for those of you that are familiar with the mystery Ankh item from from that series. But, okay, so we picked up the Ankh. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Every time I inspect the floor or wall, it just tells me it's covered in graffiti, so... Alright, well, we'll head across the hallway, then. Maybe the Ankh will protect us in some fashion. Didn't protect whoever was in that room, though. Nothing useful in the boxes. Hold up a minute. I see some ammunition. So we'll take those handgun bullets... Can I not walk past here? Is there something in my way, Harry? Oh, I guess it's like the IV stand. Okay, is this an ampoule? What, what is on here? Or is that just... Oh, it's the straps again! <laughs> I've been fooled yet again. Alright, but we've got a health drink here. So that's pretty important. What else do we have going on? Anything on these shelves? Bottles filled with drugs. And what is this? Nothing helpful. What are these? Jelly bellies. Do you want to open the bag? 39, that's gotta be like a value pack or something. <laughs> yeah, we'll open the bag. What could go wrong? Famous last words in a horror game. What? Harry. Great. Now we just triggered some other event. The sugar monster is gonna come in and attack us now that we've spilled the... Uh, What's it called? The Jelly Belly's all over the place. Okay, I guess that works. Um, is there anything else we can do in the room for now? Was I supposed to not open it? Maybe Cheryl was gonna come in here and use them if we hadn't? I don't know. Oh, fooled by the straps again. And what else, what is going on here? Okay, there's the bed. Oh, and we've got the the video, the VCR. Let's see if we can play our tape again and if it's any different. So we've got this dagger, we've got this onk, we've got the crest, we've got the amulet. So interesting. Let's use the videotape. See if it, anything, if, see if it plays anything different this time around. What is it? Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Ugh. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. Promise. So 
please. I think that was Lisa. I don't know. I don't remember it being that clear the first time we tried to watch it, but that was Lisa taking care of what's presumably Alessa, I think, in that basement who was who was tortured and had all these horrible things done to her. Probably kept alive by some like dark magic or something. Okay, now we're probably gonna try to leave and have some monster attack us for spilling the jelly bellies. All right. Now the question is, do we save? We could. I mean, if the jelly beans end up being something really, really important, I guess at the end of the day we could always just, you know, reset that save file. But, oh, we've got another named door here. Eratron. Okay. Um, this is the room with Alessa, right? Maybe not, I guess. Nothing unusual. Oh, it's a save point. Interesting. I expected some, like, really crazy stuff to go down. Oh. I think some really crazy stuff is about to go down. <laughs> Nothing unusual. Oh, but look. That's, um, I think one of those is the picture of maybe Dahlia. Maybe. There's these butterfly collections. What's over on the wall here? Cards are scattered on the floor. Any of interest? There are dolls on the floor. Okay, so this is clearly Alessa's room or, like, her, her space or something like that. So, what I'm going to say, I'm going to note to myself, data 9. Interesting. Yeah, so data 9, save 52, is the one before spilling the jelly bellies. I feel like that's going to be relevant. It's just like my gamer's intuition is telling me that, that it's going to be relevant. But maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. What is up with these butterflies? They're pretty, that's for sure. I mean, how butterflies just remind me of Until Dawn. A child's drawings are scattered on the floor. What about this uniform? A girl's clothing hangs on the wall. Six, maybe seven. Must be a kid about that age. There are old fairy tales, pictures, picture books of animals, and plants on the shelf. Good thing we know where a, I don't know, a botanical textbook is. A child's drawings are scattered. What about in this closet here? None of this stuff is of any use. All right, then we'll, we'll continue onward. Or not, I guess. Thou possess them to guard thy spirit, evoke five rites, unveil thy fate. Wow. So it's pretty clear what they're talking about. Um, the first of which is the Amulet of Solomon. Okay, that's the first. Next up is going to be, uh, we're, gonna, we're one short, guys. We're one short, the Crest of Mercury. Guys, this is why we shouldn't have opened the Jelly Bellies. The fifth element, or the fifth guardian is the uh, Jelly Belly Pack. Okay, so we've done three. And then we have, you know, the Dagger of Melchior. That's the fourth. We need one more. I highly doubt the uh, the camera is going to be what we're, what we're dealing with here. Not the videotape either. Yeah. Darn it. Okay, so we're one short. So the question then is... Where, where is the fifth one? There are clearly some unsolved puzzles, right? Just cause, hmm. I mean, we have the two named rooms in this hallway, right? That haven't been explored yet because we don't have the keys with them. There's the key that has the electricity running through it that we don't know how to get just yet. There's... what else? There's really just that key, isn't there? That electri electrified key. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we left unexplored on the other floors. Maybe if there's something to do at the altar itself? We haven't done that yet. And then, of course, there's the botanical book that we haven't used yet. We don't need it yet. So I want to take a look in here again. I feel like there might be some like oven mitts or something like that in here that would be really helpful for insulation for grabbing that key. Because that's all I can think of, right? There are two potential ways to get this key. The first of which is to turn off the electricity and the second of which is to have some means of touching the key without getting electrocuted. And at the moment, 
it seems we're not able to find either of those things. Again, the chain is fixed. Okay, so we're not going to die when we try to leave the room. Probably. <laughs> I don't... I can't think of anything else we saw in any of the other rooms. We don't have any more keys, so we can't unlock anything else. There's nothing else in here. At least, nothing visible. Right? I'll probably explore a bit and think on this one. If we can't come up with anything, though, this might be one of those times where I turn to the guide. Because this is a pretty big place. Doesn't have a map. And I'm pretty confident we've explored all the rooms. So I don't know. All I can think of is... Now we went down here. Is like the altar. Maybe... Maybe I need to go use that botanical book now. That's all I can think of. We've like had a little bit of a, an event. We've explored new areas. We've gotten new items. Maybe we can actually we've changed the, I guess, conditions surrounding that botanical book. And now we can open it up. And instead of it being relevant for, I don't know, learning about some plants, there's actually just something inside that's important. Let's see. Botanical reference book, don't need to read it right now. Huh, I feel there's got to be something going on here. Can I use the, like, red liquid? I'm pretty sure this is where I originally found it. No. Anything back here? Hiding in here? No. No. Darn. Alright, well... I'm, I'm a little bit stumped at this point. I can't think of anything else. I'll probably consult the the book, just be, or the, the guide, because I just don't want to be running around forever. I wonder what they worship. Is that like some clue that maybe there's like a painting in the middle that is missing that I need to replace? Is that what's going on? Again, I can't use the camera here. Can't use the videotape, and that's all I've got from a key item standpoint. Maybe I have to turn off the flashlight? Oh, I can't even interact with the altar when the flashlight's off. Interesting. I was thinking maybe I'd have to like start a fire or something, but no. And we already got what was in this room, right? That was pretty straightforward. Um, it was just what was sitting on the chairs. Yeah, I feel like the next step is that electrical key. I tried swinging at it, but I don't, I can't think of anything we could use. Maybe if I were to like shoot it, <laughs> that would work. Maybe if I had some scissors, I could cut the wires. Maybe, no, but I used the pliers and I used the screwdriver and I didn't see any tools there. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of at an impasse, guys. So I'm not 100% sure what the next step is, but I'm probably going to look up what it is in that guide. Maybe I'll think about it a little bit more before doing so, just to see if there's anything that comes to mind that I might have missed. But otherwise, we'll have to continue this puzzle in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was pretty cool to explore more of nowhere, uh, to get to solve some of these puzzles, use a bunch of the key items. Uh, we've had a couple cool like animations. It's pretty clear that the game is getting pretty, pretty crazy at this point, you know, with all of the the room with the Ankh and the writings all over, and we're getting close to Alessa, and we saw the videotape, and you know, the jelly bellies getting real nuts with those jelly bellies. <laughs> and it seems like we still have that last hallway to fully explore. We have two named rooms that we haven't been in. We have that electrified key, and then we have the door from Alessa's room that needs the five guardian things that we have four of. So I don't know. Um, well, I'll think about it and see if I can come up with a way to get that electrified key or to find some room that I haven't explored yet. But if not, I mean, uh, I'll have the guide. So, and I'll look at it as, li or as little as necessary. But until the next episode, this is Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.